Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than just like monthly favorites. I kind of wanted to do more lifestyle favorites instead of just, sorry, hair in my mouth, instead of just beauty. Um, I kind of feel like I'm sick of doing that. I'm sick of doing like a whole video dedicated to just beauty products that I'm loving when there's a lot more things that I'm really into. I'm into like decor, I'm into fashion, I'm into skincare, I'm into just food, like random stuff. And I thought that this could be more of like a lifestyle thing if I make it, you know, like current loves or what I'm loving lately. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna title it, but I'm just kind of overdoing like favorites videos every month. I don't know why. I feel like it just feels forced and I don't want to do a video that feels forced. So this feels more just like me talking to you guys about really what I would talk to a friend, what I'm liking right now, new things I have, that kind of stuff. So let's jump into it. First thing I want to talk about is uh, my necklaces and what I'm wearing right now. So I know you guys are going to ask. First thing I want to mention is I wear this um, cross necklace every single day and I get a comment asking where I got it every single day also and I have mentioned it in videos past but it's from Stella and Dot and it's just a gold sideways cross. I leave a link for it in the video description of every single video. It's always there. It says shop Stella and Dot. So you guys can get that from there if you want. But also a bunch of other stores sell this um, little necklace. I really like it. Um, I just wanted something that was like good enough quality that I could wear it like in the shower and just like every single day and never take it off. I've had this exact one on for over a year now. I've never taken it off and I love it. So that's that. For those of you that ask, and then the other two necklaces are actually from HRH Collection. I've been loving her videos lately and she's just come out with some really cool, <coughs> I'm sorry, some really cool pieces lately. If you guys don't watch her, she's like a jewelry designer in California. I'll leave her link below. I love all of her pieces and she vlogs, like does daily vlogs. And she always shows like what she's wearing and like how to style different pieces. And I'm really inspired by her. I really love her channel lately. So I've been loving wearing these like dainty necklaces and like layering them together. That's it for necklaces. I'll leave her channel below. Next up, this bracelet. So. This bracelet was actually a gift from my parents. It's from Swarovski Crystal. I love how delicate and dainty it is, but it's still like bright and pretty and fresh and I love it. So this was a wedding gift from them and my sister and I love it. You guys have been asking in a few pictures like where it was from, so I thought I would just mention it to you. I like wearing it like on its own. I don't know, I just think it looks pretty by itself. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been wearing for jewelry lately and then, um, this tank top is from Show Me Your Moo Moo. I love how it's just like light and flowy. I've been wearing like just like basic white tank tops or like navy tank tops like every day lately. I don't know why. I just like it. I just love the way like a crisp like spaghetti strap tank top looks with a pair of denim shorts. So that moves me into my next little thing. So I've been really liking to wear, like I said, just like a crisp, easy tank top, like a flowy tank top with a pair of like ripped up denim shorts. I think it looks cute, I think it looks easy, and then I can wear it with like a cute hat or cute shoes or cute jewelry and kind of dress it up and make it like unique. So that's what I've been doing lately. And I have a really hard time finding shorts that fit me just like I do with jeans. I'm sure a lot of you guys have the same problem. Just the different body types, it's hard to find things that work. So for me, I really don't like it when the shorts are tight around my thighs. I don't think that's flattering. So. I want something that's a little bit more stretchy, loose around my thighs, but tighter around my waist. That's hard to find. So I did find these from Free People, and I've really been liking them, so I thought I would just mention them to you guys if you are also trying to find denim shorts. So they look like this. They're just a medium wash. I like how they are a little bit destroyed, but not too much, and I like how the um, sides kind of like roll up on the corners. I think that's pretty kind of goes like that. It just looks flattering on your legs. They're not tight around my thighs like at all. Uh, if you guys are wondering for size, I got size 24. 
and I just like these. I like when jeans are really soft and they already feel like lived in when you get them and that's what these feel like. They feel like really soft and comfortable. Like they're just as comfortable as wearing like pajama shorts. So love these. If you guys need some new shorts, check out Free People. Okay, next up. This is a little bit different, but these shoes. I want to talk to you guys about these shoes. Okay, so these are them. Really cute from Target, okay? I love this style of shoe. I've really been looking for a pair of shoes like this. I saw this lady at the airport a few months ago, and she had on a pair of shoes like this, with like really cute ripped jeans, and like she had a really cute short haircut, and she was carrying a little puppy to the airport, and she just looked so cute. She was, I love these shoes, and I really wanted to ask her where she got them, but like I couldn't <laughs> catch up to her to ask her. So I, Looked and looked and looked. I could not find the ones she had on. I saw these at Target recently and I thought, okay, I'm just gonna get them. And you don't love them. Like, I love this style. I really want a pair of like open toe, mule, clog type things. But not these ones. These, the heel is very, very plasticky and fake looking. Like, you can tell it's just a piece of plastic. And it's way too high. Um, for me at least, I want to wear these shoes during the day, I want to wear them like running errands or just shopping, like I like to have like a really easy like throw on 3 inch, 2 and a half inch heel. And then I do like this color, okay? So if you guys have any recommendations or if you know of any place that has a shoe that looks like this, a little bit lower heel and a little bit better quality, let me know in the comments because I'm really searching and it's hard to find, I don't know. Okay, I usually don't talk about food, but you guys need to try this. Skinny Pop Popcorn. It is so good. Um, I, sorry. Okay, so a lot of you guys probably know I have been doing macro counting and that kind of stuff. I have got really busy lately and I have not been able to stick to it. I know that's not an excuse, but that's just real life. So I'm trying to get back on it, I'm trying to get healthy again so I can do fitness and stuff videos for you guys. So I have some cool popcorn that I really like and that is not that bad for you. Um, skinny Pop popcorn. The macros for three and three quarters cups, like that's a lot. 10 fat, 15 carb, and two protein. Not that bad. And it's like no artificial, no cholesterol free, dairy free, peanut free, gluten free, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys like to eat popcorn while you watch The Bachelorette on Monday nights, like I do, try this. Speaking of that, you guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think about this season. Because I'll let you know what I think. <laughs> I really, I like Caitlyn a lot. I really wanted her to be the one that won, like, out of the two girls. I really liked her. I thought she was funny, cute, down to earth, normal. I still think she's all those things. But, I don't know. I feel like she's just, like, telling each guy what they want to hear and just not really being, like, true to herself. And the whole thing with Nick. It's just a lot. Like, there's a lot of drama this season. It's been a good season, but I feel bad for these guys. Like, I don't know. I feel like she's not being as honest with them. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. If you guys don't watch Bachelor, sorry, but I'm into it. Michael and I are really into it. And there's been a lot of really cool guys on it this season. I feel like the one that she should have picked for the finale or, you know, to get engaged to or whatever was the one that she just sent home and now I cannot remember his name but I will put it right here I felt like they were a good match and I did read the spoilers so I know what's gonna happen and that kind of makes me mad if you guys read the spoilers it will make you mad so um, I don't know who do you want to be the next bachelor or bachelor yeah that's what I'm always interested in and it's bachelor in paradise oh my god I cannot wait for that that is the best my favorite okay and then also I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of people to talk about Bachelor with, so I'm gonna talk to you guys. Do you think that Michelle and Cody are back together? Because on Instagram, they make it seem like they're back together. I don't know, I wanna know. Hmm. So, that's 
what I do. I sit and eat my popcorn and watch The Bachelor. Okay, I'm in the blues away. I love telling you guys what audiobook that I've been listening to recently, and this month I've been listening to Yes Please by Amy Poehler. I recently started watching Parks and Rec. Not recently, now it's been a few months, but I'm on like season five or six or something, I don't know. But I really love that show. Michael and I like to watch a few episodes at night before we go to bed, and I just always loved her. But now reading this book, I really, really like her. It just gives you like, I don't know, like appreciation for her. Like it just gives you more respect for her. And she's just a really cool lady. I don't know, I just like her book. She's funny, but she also seems really normal and really down to earth and just like a good mom, a good lady. I don't know, I like her. So if you guys watch any of her shows or if you watch any of her movies or you like her, you'll probably like that book too. So it's called Yes Please. And of course, like usual, Audible is offering you guys a free audiobook of your choice and they have a ton of audiobooks to choose from, like over 180,000. So you'll be sure to find one that you like if you don't want to listen to Yes Please, even though I do recommend it, it's really good. And then next, after this, I want to get the one um, by Aziz. Is that his name, Aziz? He's so hilarious. And I know his audiobook will be even like funnier, so I'm gonna download that one next. But yes, try out Yes Please or any audiobook of your choice. Like I said, there's a bunch to choose from. You can just go to audible.com slash Alex Garza and you can get your free little 30 day trial. Again, audible.com slash Alex Garza. It's so easy, you guys, it takes like minutes. And you'll be addicted just like I am. I listen to it in the car, I listen to it when I'm walking, when I'm working out, when I'm getting ready, all the time, and it's nice. And of course, something else I'm loving this month is Colby, my little baby. I love him so much, he's getting so big, oh! So I thought that you guys might want to see a vlog of like the day we got him and took him home and like his first few days at home. So I will leave that link down below. It just went up on the uh, vlog channel today. Today is Thursday. You guys are seeing this other video on Friday. So if you want to see the Meet Colby vlog, which I know you do, it'll be linked down below on the vlog channel. Don't forget to subscribe to that channel. We make new vlogs all the time and it will make us really, really happy. Oh. oh. Okay, I'm gonna go put him down, eat lunch. Look, look how cute, you can't not watch it. Look how cute he is. Those ears. Say my ears get longer every day. Next up, I wanna talk about my planner. I am really excited about this planner. So this is my new little guy. It's from Erin Condren. I love the design. I love the gray and the white and how it's just like, clean and pretty and fresh looking. I love how uh, I can get like my little initials down here and white. I don't know, I just love the design of this. I think it's really unique. I also love how the covers are plastic. So if you get water or whatever on them, you can just wipe it off. So I am planning on doing a whole video about like how I organize things and how I use this planner, blah, blah, blah. But in the meantime, I wanted to just tell you guys that I am loving it. And also the reason why I'm really liking it is because um, Erin Condren planners in the past were all like, when you went to like the weeks, it was vertical, okay? And that was like not enough room for me. I like to write a lot of stuff down. I have a lot of stuff to do during the day. So they are now horizontal. I'll show you guys what I mean. like this. So now I can like write out my day. And it's much easier. It's the way that I like my planners to be. And so I'm loving this. They now offer it in both vertical or horizontal, whatever works best for you, which is really cool. So I will do a full like in-depth video on how I plan my weeks and organize and stuff like that soon. But in the meantime, I'm loving this. Okay, I do want to talk about a few beauty products real quick. For foundation this month. All right, so I have been really, really into this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tin and Moisturizer thing. Number one, it's SPF 30, which is awesome. I like all the sun protection I can get. Also, I have it in a darker shade, so it matches me a little bit better right now. I'm like a little bit more tan. So I've been really liking to wear this by itself during the day. It just kind of like evens out your skin the littlest bit and gives you like a little bit of like bronzy color just to make it look like you have like naturally good skin. It looks fresh, you look hydrated, awake. It's really, really pretty. I love that. But 
for nighttime, I've been loving mixing these with other foundations to create a more customized look. Um, for summertime, I'm not into like super heavy, full coverage foundation. It just gets hot. It just gets like cakey looking. In the winter time, I feel like it's better or like fall, spring. In the summer when it's like super, super hot and you're outside, that just does not look good. It gets all over your sunglasses or it just like melts away. So I've been wearing this mixed with a little bit of other like fuller coverage foundations to give me more of like a natural medium coverage look and it's really pretty. So I love this. I just wanted to let you guys know that I have been mixing it most of the time with the NARS um, All Day Weightless Luminous. I can never remember the name of this one. So I like these two mixed together. I like it mixed with my Guerlain Jolie Tint. Or today I have all three mixed. Like mostly this with like a little tiny bit of this, a little tiny bit of that. And it just looks natural and pretty. I can see my freckles. I can see my skin. I just like it. Also really been into this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I have had this since it first came out. But I just like stopped using it. I don't know. You guys know like once you like... You have a highlighter, you use it for a little bit, and then as soon as you get a new one, you like use that one every day. And then you get a new one and use that one every day. So I like have pushed this farther and farther back in my collection, but I don't know why I'm just moving all out of the room. But I saw my friend, my bridesmaid, one of my bridesmaids, Lucy, wearing this on my wedding day. It looked so pretty on her. We always like talk about makeup with each other. She's huge into it too, just like I am. And this looks so good on her, so it made me want to bring mine out, and I've been wearing it like crazy lately. So, I've been using the middle one, Incandescent Light, to kind of set my concealer-ish a little bit. And then the darker one, Radiant Light, to blend out my contour. And it just gives your face a soft, glowy, pretty look. I don't know, it's just pretty. I like it, and I like the way it looks like romantic, and just it just makes your skin look really really pretty. If you've never tried it, go into Sephora and have them put it on you because it's really pretty. All right, so last makeup item I want to talk about is this lip combo that I've been wearing lately that I've been loving. So, and that's kind of what I meant, because I wanted to, and that's kind of what I meant in the beginning of the video, is instead of just talking about like, oh, I've been liking this lipstick, I want to talk about, oh, I've been liking wearing it like this, or this tan moisturizer. I like it, but I like it because I've been wearing it with other foundations. Do you know what I mean? Like how I've actually been using the product, not just singling out a specific product because anybody can go to the store and buy this or buy this, but it's the way that I use it is why I like it. So I hope that makes sense. Um, going back to this lip combo. So it's been the Milani uh, lip liner in the color All Natural. This is like just a little bit darker than a nude lip liner. It's like just enough and I kind of overlined my lips with this. I love that. And then the other products are from Soap and Glory. The first is this like stick. It's like a crayon and it's called Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick and the color is called Nudist. Really pretty rosy nude color. It's shiny. It's almost like a tinted lip balm. It's really pretty. I like it. I've been just keeping this in my purse all day. It's great for touch-ups. It goes good over any lipstick. Really pretty. And then to top it off, I've been wearing this lip gloss, which is called Pillow Plump. And it burns. Like, it is a burning, tingling lip gloss. But I really like that. I want my lips to look bigger. So I got this in the color Koi Toy. It's like a peachy nude. So this together is like a really pretty, natural, nudie, rosy, big lip look. If you like that, you'll like this. Okay, so last thing I want to talk about is some skincare stuff. I've been trying out some new, can you see my pajama pants? <laughs> some new products lately, and I like them. So if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you totally should, because I post on there all the day. All the day. Oh my god, help me. All day long. Like, I love Snapchat. So I'm on there all day I love posting on there and I post like what I've been doing lately what I've been liking and I did one the other day like I did like a bunch of stuff and um, I showed you guys and I was trying out this mask for the first time and I love it so if you guys did not see that whole story I will talk about it right now so it's from Bosha it's just a sample it's called their luminizing black mask but I really like it first of all it's a peel-off mask which I've never tried before 
So that was kind of weird, but also kind of cool. And I just feel like it really helps to make my skin look more glowy and more fresh and more even. Um, I don't feel like it helps with acne. I don't know if it's supposed to, but I don't feel like it does. But it does make my skin look really glowy and pretty and I like that. So great for if you have like something important the next day or if maybe like before you go on vacation or whatever. I like this. I'm going to buy the full size very soon. Michael also used it and liked it too. He just didn't want me to show you him using it, but he totally used it. Okay, and the last two products are from Michael Todd. Newer products um, that I've been trying out and I really like too. I also posted about these on Snapchat a few times. Okay, first one is the Tropical Fruit Enzyme Exfoliant Scrub. I don't know what it is, but I have been obsessed with doing scrubs lately. I feel like I do one every night or every other night, but probably close to every night. I don't know why. I just feel like it really gets my skin like clean, cleans out my pores, gets that last little bit of makeup off, and I like this one a lot. So I will leave a 20% off coupon code for this down below. I'll read you what it says. It kind of has like papaya, pineapple enzymes. It's a mild exfoliant to remove dead skin, impurities, and toxins um, without irritation. Exfoliates, moisturizes, and firms. Definitely, I can tell my skin is moisturized after I use this. Like you can feel it's like soft, like you just put lotion on. I don't know. I love this. You guys should try it. There's just something about using a scrub that makes you feel like you're really cleaning your skin. Um, and this, if you don't want to do a scrub, but you do want something that will really kind of exfoliate your skin, I've been loving this too. It's the Wild Berry Exfoliating Peel. This is kind of like a mask that I'll do if I feel like I'm breaking out, which I am this week. It's just that time of the month I always break out right now. So I am breaking out. I'll put this all over for like 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it off. It definitely helps kind of like draw out the acne or like little clawed pores or whatever I had, but it's not like super strong. Like I can't do the glam glow. That's way too strong. That burns my skin. And I just like, I think it makes it worse. Like it gives me more acne because it like inflamed my skin, like irritated it. This is very gentle. If you guys just want like a nice mild exfoliant to kind of help with acne or like blackheads and that kind of stuff, try this. Again, I'll also have a 20% off for that um, down below too. All right, so that is everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked this new style where I'm talking more about what I've been loving in general and my whole lifestyle, like that kind of stuff, give this video a thumbs up because I want to know if that's what you want to see. If you want to see just makeup products, then I will continue to do that, but I need to know. So give this video a thumbs up if you like me talking about everything and showing everything because I think it's more fun. I think it's more real and I want to show you guys what I'm actually loving, not just makeup products. So, but it's up to you. You gotta let me know. So you let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Coupon codes for as many things as I can get will also be down below too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I make new videos all the time and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.